Poly B piping stands for polybutylene piping. It was something that they use in hydronic boiler systems or hot water heating systems for in-floor heating, um, and they used it in the 90s. So it was a great idea. Um, let's run a bunch of pipes in the floor. So instead of heating your house with baseboard, um, we'll actually put the heat into the floor so you get a nice, even, smooth heat coming up. So great concept. They still use it today. They just don't use um, this product called Poly B piping. What the issues with it were and what they discovered after years and years of it being installed in people's homes was that um, the pipe physically absorbs air through the walls of the pipe and puts it in your boiler system. So it's fine, except that um, major parts of older boiler systems are all metal, rustable, ferrous metal. So um, basically when you mix water and air together, you will get rust. So the systems essentially rot from the inside out. So there's been um, a long history of the resolution to this. There's literally probably millions of properties throughout North America that have poly B piping systems. So um, the first resolution was there's a class action lawsuit against the manufacturers of this pipe. Um, what they did to resolve it uh, was to pay for 50% of the cost to actually rip up all the floors in your house and completely replace all the pipes. Clearly a terrible solution. Not a lot of people took advantage of it. That's been closed many, many years ago. It's not possible to get back in that program. So from there, the next solution that they came up with was to isolate all of the bad piping in your floor from your heating system to essentially run it through like a heat exchanger so that the good water never touches the bad water. It's fine. Um, it will solve the problem, but by the time you replace your boiler, put in a, um, a heat exchanger into the system, add chemicals into the system that's really only separating your drinking water from your boiler water with a little backflow preventer, um, you know, plus the cost and everything else, it, it, it really doesn't make sense. What they've been using for a number of years now, and it's our most popular solution to poly B systems, is take everything out of the system that can rust. So everything that can't rust or all the poly B piping is in the floor. The, the pipes are fine. The pipes, the pipes will do their thing. Um, they'll, they'll move water, they'll absorb a bit of air. Back when you get to the mechanical room, remove everything that can possibly rust, replace it with um, copper pipes, um, plastic components, or stainless steel components, and a stainless steel um, boiler. Uh, if you do all that, it doesn't matter if there's air in the system because there's nothing for the air to damage. There's nothing for the air to combine with the water and actually damage your system. So that's one popular way to resolve your poly B issue. Um, there's many, many brands, actually the vast majority of brands, if you use it with Poly B, it will 100% void the warranty. So you need to be very careful and there's only a few brands that I know of that it won't void the warranty. And if you have that to your house, it's a lot of times me coming out and I'll explain these things to you again and, and we can talk about resolving your Poly B issue.